In today's episode of How It Works, we're going to tell you about one of the most dangerous and effective armament types in World of Warships, torpedoes. There are two torpedo types in our game, standard and deep water torpedoes. The former inflict damage on all ship types. The latter differ by their lesser spotting range and can damage only cruisers, battleships and aircraft carriers. However, destroyer Asa Shio stands out because her deep water torpedoes can damage only battleships and aircraft carriers. Torpedoes act like HE shells because they inflict damage with an explosive wave and the mass of their warhead allows them to ignore any armor. However, armor reduces the damage caused by torpedoes. That's why a torpedo inflicts a sixth of its damage to the part of the ship that it hits, plus a sixth of its damage to the hull. Let's demonstrate this. We'll take Fuso, for instance. No, let's leave it alone for a while. Let's take Alabama. A torpedo from British cruiser Minotaur hits Alabama's forward end. It has 2,900 HP. If a torpedo hits Alabama's forward end, it will be destroyed. 2,900 plus 7,755 HP is subtracted from the hull's HP pool. Total 10,655, but we'll see another number in the game, 10,728. Where does this extra 73 HP come from? The thing is that a torpedo has a cube-shaped effective explosion area, like any HE shell. A torpedo's cube is the size of a battleship's HE shell cube. The main difference is that the torpedo cube damages all ship parts within its coverage. The damage depends on the overlapping volume of the cube and a ship's part. Therefore, the maximum torpedo damage is the sum of the damage dealt to a ship's part and the hull, plus the maximum damage caused by the explosion wave cube. By the way, apart from subtracting the hull's HP, the torpedo cube inflicts damage on the ship's modules and can destroy them. The first to take a hit are magazines, engine rooms and steering gears. However, other modules may suffer as well. The torpedo explosion wave ignores any armor. Every subsequent torpedo that hits Alabama's forward end will inflict only half the maximum damage on the hull because the forward end is destroyed. After the hull's HP reaches zero, any torpedo that hits Alabama's forward end won't do any damage, but the ship will remain alive because it still has HP for the rear end, superstructure and casemate. That's why, on some really rare occasions, a destroyer can catch five torpedoes with its forward end at once and survive. Now let's see what happens if Minotaur launches a torpedo at Alabama's side. Right at the Citadel, total damage is 8,250. That's the maximum damage. That's because of the battleship's anti-torpedo protection. It's a specially structured underwater ship part that weakens the torpedo explosion energy and prevents it from damaging the most important compartments. The forward and rear ends don't usually have any anti-torpedo protection. That's why these parts receive maximum damage, while all ships, except for destroyers, have their central part equipped with anti-torpedo protection. Alabama's anti-torpedo protection absorbs 49% of the torpedo damage. That's why the Citadel receives so little damage. Actually, the damage from the torpedo cube will also be added. You can see the anti-torpedo protection of your ship in the port in the survivability tab. The ships with repair party restore the HP lost from torpedoes the same way as from shells. It all depends on where a torpedo hits. All ship parts except for the Citadel, have the same recovery coefficient. When talking about Alabama, the coefficient will be 0.5, and the Citadel's coefficient will be 0.1. However, 
the explosion damage doesn't conclude the list of unpleasant torpedo hit consequences. With each hit, a flooding check is run. You'll find out how this mechanic works and what you should do to reduce the flooding risk in the next episode of our series. Now it's time to subscribe to our channel and click the bell so you won't miss our next video of how it works.